Hey, what's up guys? Dark Wicker here for today's video. This is gonna be the first video of the ADC Breaker series. We are gonna play every ADC after or on the new patch 2.4, a lot of new crit items and I'm gonna give you my best builds or the best builds for the champion in general. We are gonna talk about the items on each champion, what core items are the best, which items do you use situational, like you always have to think about the enemy team composition, sometimes you have to adjust your build, stuff like that. Talking about the runes quickly, spells, maybe I would give you some slight or quick um, ability combos or ability combo tips that you need on each champion. If you guys are down for this series and you guys want to see ADC Breaker every day, ADC, ADC, I mean it's an ADC patch. Patch 2.4 is the ADC patch. So, we are gonna start this series with the boy Lucian. This fucker is just too broken. S, S, S tier in the mid lane. I would say he is okay, like he can be pretty good in the ADC role. But he's getting bullied by some champions pretty hard because he's getting outranged. So I feel like he's working the best in the mid lane. Could work in the top lane as well. I played it a, I played it a few times. It can work, but you definitely need a tanky support and a tanky jungler. Otherwise, you have too many squishy champions in your team com. Anyways, let's get started with the item build. Okay. Item build for Mr. Lucian. Okay, uh, the camera is a little bit off. Let's move it, maybe to here. We are so smart, man. So smart. Okay, item build for the man himself, Lucian. First core item, in my opinion, on the new patch, Essence Reaver. Gives you 40 attack damage, 25% crit rate, 25 ability haste. So, what do you want on Lucian on his main items? You want attack damage, you want crit chance, you want ability haste. Ability haste is very important on Lucian, so you can spam his abilities more. And did you guys know, with the passive of Lucian, you can reduce the cooldown of your third ability. Every ability can trigger the passive, and with the passive, for each auto attack, you can reduce the cooldown of the third ability by one second. So, quick blades is also a question. I'm gonna talk about that later on, but let me just say you don't necessarily need it because if you have enough ability haze, you will just get the dash super quickly with your abilities and don't necessarily need quick blades. But first core item, Essence Reaver. Um, Essence Flare the passive, damaging active abilities. Deal 10 bonus physical damage plus 70% of your AD. Each ability can only trigger this effect once per target and Lucian has a lot of abilities to trigger it. Mana Siphon attacks restore 2% missing mana on hit. It's pretty nice item. I think this is the most popular and best build on Lucian right now. There are obviously some variations where you switch some items up, but in my opinion this is the best and most consistent one. Next new core item, Solaris Charge Blade, super broken ADC item right now on the new patch. Every ADC, like almost every ADC is running it and then on top of that you have Master Yi, you have Trinamea, you have some Riven players, some Fiora players that run Charge Blade right now. Okay, the camera, I should put it right here, I think, because the item is getting covered. <laughs> okay, lesson learned. Okay, 25% crit chance, 30% attack speed. 25 ability haste and then the passive this is the juicy part this is the juicy part sunburst using an ability garda's radiance three stacks total for up to 10 seconds while charges are stored gain 25 percent crit rate attack that crit expand a charge that deals true damage oh my god on hit Increased by up to 150% when the opponent is low life. Each unique ability can only generate a charge once every 2 seconds. Perfect item for Lucian who is a champion that uses a lot of abilities. So you can get the crit chance very easily. You can also proc um, the true damage very easily. And 
as you guys can see, for every for every charge, you get 25% crit rate. So with those two items, you can easily get 100%. Or like, let's say 75, because you will immediately get one proc away. Um, but yeah. This combo is pretty nasty on Lucian. Next core item, Infinity Edge. This is the, the GOAT. The GOAT of crit items. Greatest of all times. It gives you 55 attack damage. 25% crit rate. Um, critical strike steal. 230% damage instead of 200%. This is juicy, juicy crits, okay? So, with those, <coughs> with those three crit items, you're just basically gonna one-shot the opponent. If they don't have any armor, they are squishy. Lucian dashes in. Um, auto attack, S1, auto attack, auto attack, S2, auto attack, auto attack. With a passive, when I say auto attack, auto attack, that's a passive. And then finish them off with the ultimate, but usually they just get immediately one shot at bursted. Next, new core item for Lucian. This is a must have. When you need armor penetration because the opponents are building armor, you go for Cyril Das Grudge because it gives you attack damage, ability haste, 30% armor penetration, and also the passive Icy. Damaging active, um, damaging active abilities uh, and uh, empowered attacks slow the enemies by 30%. With Cerida's Grudge, the opponents can't run away from your uh, ultimate because they are getting slowed. And then for the last item, Guardian Angel, I think this is a must have on ADCs in the late game. When you need the safety of having a revival. Uh, 40 attack damage, 40 armor, that's pretty nice, but the resurrection passive is awesome. So for the boots, you have a few options. You can go for Yonan, boots of lucidity, for more ability haste, great synergy with Lucian's kit. You can go for um, plated steel caps if you face a lot of physical damage. If you need tenacity, you go for mercury uh, threats. And when do you go Mercury? When basically they have a lot of CC crowd control, stuns, fears, taunt, etc. Then you can reduce the duration by 35%. And you could also go for Gluttonous Griefs for some additional lifesteal. And for the enchantments you have... <coughs> I would say you have two options. You have Quicksilver. With this you can um, clean or cleanse. Uh, cr uh, crowd control immediately like you get stunned you activate it you can cleanse uh, cleanse it away or remove it and then you also have zonyas i think zonyas is very good uh, most of the times i'm using zonyas because uh, if people use camille ultimate they use Zed ultimate you want to use zonyas uh, so you don't take damage or you can prevent the camille ultimate so i think zonyas is the must have on adcs right now or most adcs Let's talk about some other item options that you could go on Mr. Lucian. Mana Mune. I think Mana Mune is a still great item if you want to go for this item build path. Um, 25 attack damage, 300 mana, 20 ability haste, and when you have Mura Mana, it scales like crazy. Mura Mana provides you with insane amount of damage. So if you want to scale into the late game, then Mana Mune is probably one of the best items for scaling. But it makes him weak in the early game. And Lucian is one of those champions that want to snowball and bully in the early game. So that's why with this you have the insane crit item power spike. But which is early. And with Mana Mune later on you will have like the insane damage output spike. So it's definitely an option that you could go for. Maybe first item Mana Mune. Then you go... Uh, Solari Charge Blade, then maybe Essence Reaver and then Infinity Edge. Could be an item variation that you could go for, just an example. If you need Anti-Heal, you can go for Mortal Reminder. More of my Mortius if you need some magic resistance against, let's say, Akali, uh, Fist, Assassins or Evelyn, like AP Assassins. Obviously, you have Quick Blades, like I said. Um, if you're, if you're really, really greedy, you could go 
Quick Blades last item instead of Guardian Angel. I think it can still work pretty well with the second ability. The third ability is gonna... The cooldown is so low, like uh, it's so quickly uh, up again with just your passive. So I think for the second ability, Navaris Quick Blades can be pretty nice. Remember, reduces your non-ultimate ability cooldowns by 50% of the remaining cooldown. But if your cooldown is really low, then you basically don't get much uh, reduction on the ability itself. So it can be viable, but I think you don't necess uh, necessarily need it. Death Dance, more lifesteal, more survivability thanks to the passive and ability haste, great item as well. Black... wait. I think we don't go black. No, 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 forget it, forget it. Rapid Fire Cannon, I think if you want more range, it can be good, you don't necessarily need it. Static can be an item variation for some more AoE splash damage, but you don't necessarily need it. Bloodthirster, you could go for it, not gonna lie, maybe last item gives you more lifesteal, but hey, honestly, I think you don't necessarily need it. Yeah, that's it for the item build. Let's talk about the runes for Lucian. I think mostly you go Conqueror because you can proc Conqueror, like you get the 5 sex super quickly thanks to the passive auto attacks. Electrocute, if you want to be very cheesy in the early game, hey, might go for it, but I don't think you need it. So for the first row of the runes, you have obviously Brutal for the early game. A gathering storm if you want to scale better. If you want some life steal, that's why I'm going for Hunter Vampirism. I think that's pretty nice because I'm not going for any life steal items. You could obviously go for Blade of the Rune King, I forgot to mention. Blade of the Rune King, also great item for Lucian. But since I'm just running this one, I don't necessarily need too much life steal. Um, then Champion, if you're really alpha, if you're confident, you're like, Hey boys, I'm not gonna die, then you can go for champion. And then otherwise, Hunter's Titan. Gain 20 max health, 4% tenacity. Not bad. You could go for Kara Pass. Gain 50 HP, 12 armor, 12 magic resistance. Or just bone plating. After taking damage from a champion, the next three champion abilities or attacks against you within 1.5 seconds deal less damage. And then you can go for Mana Flow Band. Gives you mana. Might be might be good if you go, don't go for uh, Mana Mune. Sweet Tooth, extra gold, more healing. I think that's, that's the go-to. Could go Hunter Genius if you want even more ability haste, but I, I think that's overkill. Pack Hunter. And loyalty are also viable, but I like this variation. And for the spells, you can go Exhaust Flash. If they have like Assassins, you can go Barrier Flash. Um, very consistent or just Heal Flash. And the other goes Ignite or Exhaust. So th those are the spell options. Anyways, if you guys want to see a guide for Lucian, I have already made one. Definitely check that one out as well. And let's spec. Tate. Okay, let's see how it's gonna go. We're gonna play Lucian in the mid lane on our Smurf account. If you guys are wondering, playing laning against Annie, and not gonna lie, Annie is a game changing winner on this new patch because everyone is running double ADCs right now, and Annie is insane at uh, nuking those ADCs. So I think Annie in solo queue went up to S tier. If you guys want to see any, then write it down below in the comments. And if you guys enjoy this series or if you guys enjoy this video, then leave a like, subscribe and obviously activate notifications because only 40% of you guys have subscribed or like 45, I don't know. Okay, Lucian, I would say very good in the mid lane. S, S, S tier if you play him well, obviously. I don't have that many games on him, so don't expect like insane faker mechanics or something, but I would say I'm gonna try to play it solid. What I'm gonna do here is try to maybe steal or harass the Aurelia. I think main... Oh, I almost stole it though. She missed the stun, we good she. And look at her HP now, she's already low life. 
she is already low life thanks to my uh, roaming. So as a mid laner, sometimes you want to go for early roams, but be careful that you don't end up inting. I know I'm Lucian, I have a dash, I have a flash, that's why I tried that. But I know a lot of times people will play way too aggressive and get caught right there. So make sure you shove the wave, you have prior uh, priority and then you can try to make those plays. And as you guys can see, Renga got a free first blood. I'm giving myself some credits as well because I managed to poke the Aurelia really low that the Renga got a free first blood. What's important on mid lane as Lucian? You wanna shove the wave, try to farm as safely as possible. If you play against Zed or Kali, you need to be really careful about the level 5 power spike. Uh, get Zonyas quickly against Zed as well. And shove the wave, try to roam, help it scuttle, try to gank. And make sure you don't miss out on farm when you're roaming. Always, when you try to roam, make sure the wave is shoved in. Because otherwise you're gonna lose minions and you will give the opponent opportunity to push your mid turret, okay? I'm watching? Yeah, the quality is good. If you guys have issues, it's just on you, not on me. Okay, reset, get Essence Reaver for the first item. First dragon is gonna be Inferno, so a pretty big fight is gonna happen for the Inferno dragon, obviously. Um, what I need to pay attention of is the enemy ultimate. Enemy, enemy, any protobuild ultimate engage. Can be pretty tricky, or the flash ultimate. If you see her having four stacks, you will see that her bar is full. You need to be super cautious. Because then she can just flash ultimate on you and then just run one shot. So try to keep your position. Okay, just gonna take the plant, get some additional gold since I'm running Sweet Tooth. Uh, extra 60 gold, pretty nice. Okay, 20 seconds for the dragon. Trying to harass a bit, but a. She has her mana shield that prevents damage or like reduces the amount of damage you are gonna take. Gonna reset quickly, get Essence Reaver and then group for the Inferno Dragon. 5 seconds. Okay, Inferno Dragon is up. We have Braum. Gonna clear the wave quickly. You always want to clear the wave before the dragon. So, um, yeah, it takes pressure away. Or creates pressure and takes pressure away at the same time. Because if the wave is gonna crash in, you're gonna miss minions, obviously. So you wanna uh, shove the wave in. And also, if you lose the team fight and they don't have minions, they can push the turret. That's, that's a really important thing that you need to remember. Always uh, try to shove the waves before you roam. And before every team fight as well. If you do that, even if you lose the team fight, you are not gonna uh, lose the turret necessary. And right now, kind of low, no mana as well. Where's the Braum? Braum is at the wrong side. They're rushing it. Oh, okay, I got it. I'm half life. I literally can't. I can't face check. Braum needs to do something. Like they're already on it. They're rushing it. What can I do here? Renga jumps in, bro. Everyone else is resetting. They're rushing it. They are gonna get the Inferno Dragon. That's um, kind of unfortunate. Fight it, where are you? <laughs> hey, not gonna lie, I can't frontline. I'm the ADC. I literally can't go in. <coughs> gonna reset, get. What do I get? CDR boots? Uh, I think CDR boots. Right now it's 2-2, 4.4k 4 for me, 4k for any, um, I think 2-0 for the Jinx. Rengar's tilted, he's pressing surrender. Nice. No, oh, 1-0. Okay. Uh, 
a spoiler alert for this gameplay. It's gonna be really uh, close and intense match. Like you guys asked me, upload more intense matches and not storms. This is gonna be an intense match. Okay, I have something, I have something. I'm gonna say later something like a hashtag that my loyal, my loyal viewers are gonna watch till the end and they will write it in the comments. And if you guys are not watching till then, you will not know the hashtag. Just, just to see who is one of my loyal viewers who watches till the end of the video. You got it. Got it. Just, just to, okay, I'm gonna clear the ultimate. I mean, I'm gonna clear the wave with the ultimate. Or the rift herald. And the teddy bear of any. Or Tibbers, yeah, I mean Tibbers, but I call him Teddy Bear. Clear the wave, oh, he's gonna take my cannon. Report him. Report him. Okay. 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 Barrier? Oh, we still end up dying, Chris Batman. <coughs> she, she literally destroyed our ass. Okay, I think we get shut down. Is it shut down? I think it's shut down. Aurelia is 5-2, that's crazy. Like, a fat Aurelia is probably one of the worst nightmares for an ADC. Like, fat Akali, fat Rengar, fat Zed, and fat Aurelia. Like, oh boy, just got one-shotted. Just getting one-shotted. Losing mid turret as well. Not looking too good right now. 4-8 for the opponents. Enemy ADC, 2-0 now, 2 core items. Six K, six K, okay. Oh, actually, she doesn't have two core items, but she has Infinity Edge already. Okay, Rengar jumping in, one-shotting Jinx. Oh boy. I'm gonna just try to get some plates on the turret. As you guys can see, you get 150 gold per plate, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna rotate and try to take the butter now. Macro gameplay, we are behind, but macro gameplay, get those objectives. Get those objectives. Even if you do bad in the game or in the laning phase, you can still win the game by having better macro understanding and securing turrets, and turrets means a uh, turret equals uh, global gold for the entire team and for yourself, of course. Gonna try to get this one using my second ability for the passive, and the passive gives me two additional auto attacks. Clear the wave before the um, the dragon, obviously. Question is, can we rush it? Akali's coming. Okay, now let's see how we're gonna do in this team fight. Okay, Gregor's E Flash, very aggressive. Gonna use my ultimate on this um, Akali. She's taking tons of damage. I have to dash out. Jinx is gonna follow me, flashing out from the Jinx ultimate. Using the plan to jump away, putting a ward to see where she's going. And yeah. What can I say? It's a stomp again for them. And now Rengar is crying. You F dogs bad A F. Nice. I think he's uh, a little bit mad. Just a little bit. Gonna get Zonyas just for the any ultimate. If you have Zuma mechanics, press the Zonyas before the any ultimate. For me, it might be hard because I'm a boomer, but if you are a zoomer, just press the ultimate. I mean, press the Zonyas quickly. Is he gonna use the root? Oh. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, no. I didn't see this when I was playing it live. I didn't even realize he failed his flash. Oh my god. Oh, Lord of Mercy. What was that? My eyes. I think I need some bleach. Holy, holy moly. That wasn't 
the greatest play I have seen. Like, all he, all he had to do was uh, use his root. I use my ultimate, the Gregor's is gonna die. But the Rengar didn't use his root ability. Gonna get the kill, it's blue buff for me. Nice. Okay, relax. Zonya's for this one. I was, uh, I, I was like a, li a little bit scared right there because I was inting. Gonna dash away from the Senna ultimate and secure another kill using my ultimate. And right now I have to run away again. Jinx got the passive reset. She gets, uh, she's getting a lot of movement speed, so I have to flash out before she's gonna chase me and slow me down with the uh, red buff. Okay, Jinx died, well played, good shit. Okay, um, when you're near bushes, always use your second ability. Okay, they got... Oh, okay, this was a bad ultimate, gonna dash over. We got that kill. They lose one person with Baron buff, Jinx doesn't have it. So three people have it right now. Gonna try to take the top turret and then group for the mountain dragon, I guess. You the Gregor's ultimate, yikes. Almost have enough for Infinity Edge. That's gonna be a big power spike because you will do additional 30% crit damage. I don't know, I see some builds that don't go for Infinity Edge. Doesn't make sense. It's a 30% damage increase on your crits. That item is just way too good. And Rengar is inting right before the dragon. <coughs> Pressing FF because he's molding. Nice. I think they are just gonna get it. I don't think we can contest. <laughs> this guy's so molding. Wait, let me think about what I'm gonna say now. I'm gonna write, you guys, if you're watching uh, still, if you guys are watching still, loyal viewers, loyal subscribers, then... Oi? Wait, am I gonna die here? No, I'm gonna flash out. You guys, hashtag chill pussy. <laughs> hashtag chill pussy. P pussy cat, chill pussy cat. Okay, that's what you're gonna write. Because this Rengar is milding. He's uh, he's like crying. Holy moly! Relax, calm down. Deep breaths. <laughs> Yikes! What are you doing, buddy? You have to write it not on the Twitch chat. You write it under the YouTube comment. Come on, guys. Come on. You Under the YouTube comment. Not now. I'm gonna edit everything into a nice video and then you guys... Better watch. Better watch again. Better watch again, okay? I feel like I could put the sound a little bit here. And the, I feel like the Spotify could be a little bit louder. I'm gonna change it for the next video. Oh, is it fine? Guys, write, write down um, in the Twitch chat. Is the sound good or a little bit louder? Like the music. Music. Okay, I think we're gonna kill this guy pretty easily. Yes. Got a kill. 
Okay, nice. Don't use the S1 on... Wait, he just got nuked. Fast. I use my S1 on the Tibbles because if you hit your first ability on a minion, it's gonna be extended or on a champion as well, on any target. Um, the laser range is gonna be extended if you hit someone beforehand. Barely no. I mean, uh, this is just low fees, so it's just meant to be uh, a quiet background sound. So it's not too uh, too quiet, but also not something that's um, too loud over my own voice. Just, I think it's more enjoyable for videos where you just use um, chill music in the background just for having some noise instead of having no noise at all or no music at all. Okay, this guy is griefing with Baron buff. Nice, let's go. We have red buff and we have four core items now. Four core items. I'm gonna dash forward and look! I just dash forward and one shot this guy. And Senna dying as well. Gonna dash forward again, getting the reset. And now only any life. Gonna kill her as well. It's not a quad kill, but we just went aggressive as Lucian. When you are fed, you dash aggressively in. You quickly get the reset for another dash and you just one shot people playing super aggressive like that. There was some sexy play. Anyways, I think we are gonna end the game right here. And if you guys like this play and if you guys enjoyed this video, then leave a like, subscribe. And I see you for tomorrow's ADC video part 2. And bye bye.